Hello, family and friends. This is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Ession's Family Garden with Mrs. SG and SK2 and SK1 and Maggie in there waiting on us to finish. So we have been called out many times <laughs> and many times and many times to do a, a pie dish. Uh, I think we were first asked by uh, Miss Tammy at Lil Jordan Farm, uh, her and some other ladies are in a pie making collaboration. Uh, Miss Lori at Whippoorwill Holler, uh, Granny B at Granny B, and finally our friend Dan at Home in the Sticks, he called us out too, so we couldn't keep hiding behind the woodshed. <laughs> uh, we are not big pie makers in our family, but we can make a pie. So today we're going to do one um, and we're going to use an ingredient from our garden. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips of Mrs. SG harvesting some of our rhubarb. And I do have to say, I know rhubarb typically is harvested through the warmer months before the frost, but we kind of waited late. So we got ours and you can still harvest it with the frost, mm -hmm. but you want to get it when it's warmer so that you don't endanger the plant. So. We are going to flip you around, show you some ingredients, mix them up, and then we're going to make us a strawberry rhubarb pie. Maybe I can put an echo effect when I do that, so <laughs> hang on. to show you the ingredients that we're using but this time instead of putting the uh, ingredients in the recipe we are going to link because we use a recipe that we found online and we've been using it and every time we get ready to do another one we just refer back to that and you can always switch up your ingredients if you want to but we've got some uh, store-bought pie crust because again we're not big pie baker so we don't make them enough to be great at it so we're going to use it from some people who are we've got some rhubarb some strawberries some brown sugar some white sugar uh -huh. some butter some salt some cornstarch some orange juice some vanilla extracts an egg and we don't have it out but we also will use some milk to mix in. So we're going to mix all the ingredients in, put a layer of dough in the bottom of our pie dish, put all our mixed ingredients in the pie dish, and put another layer of dough on top. And you can do it differently. You can put, you know, uh, cra uh, graham. graham crackers in the bottom of your dish, or you can do graham crackers on the top. You can change this up a lot but this is just what we do so let us get ours mixed and we'll show you before we put it in the oven so once we get the pie ready we're going to put it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees and i think the bake time was 45 minutes mm -hmm. Yep, 20, cover it, 30, and then check it, and it should be done and ready to go. So we'll bring you guys back and let you see what a cooked strawberry and rhubarb pie looks like. Okay. And again, we're definitely not bakers, but we do enjoy some pie. We're just not, <laughs> we're not as good as Miss Tammy, Miss Lori, mm -hmm. Granny B. I, I doubt we're even as good at making pies as our friend Dan at Home in the Sticks, but we're going to make one that we've made several times and actually that was one of the reasons we decided to grow rhubarb because not a lot of people grow it in our community or even where we grew up but we want to grow things that are easy that come back every year and feed our family and sk1 asked for a strawberry rhubarb pie so we're gonna give him what he asked for so we'll be back in a, about an hour and while we wait on the pie to cook, we're going to enjoy this delicious pork loin 
and vegetable dish that Mrs. SG cooked in our pressure, pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. <laughs> I was trying to see what the label was. It's, nice. it's not an instant pot, but it works just as good. So okay. we're going to enjoy this meal and then we'll bring you guys back in a minute for some pie. All right, we are back and Dan, we almost did the same thing you did. Well, not quite. We got it out and almost went to bed without finishing up the video. So our pie is done. Let me flip you guys around. Our pie is done and we are probably, <laughs> we don't think sometime. We got a, a lovely pie cover that Miss Tammy made for us sitting over there. And of course we put paper towels on it. So that's about as uh, bass backwards as we could get. And we've taste tested the pie and it is good. So we're gonna let it rest here and cool down a little bit more and finish it off tomorrow. We had a big meal with the pork loin stew that Mrs. SG made. The pie came out okay. We. Uh, have made better and we've made worse, but it's always good. So we're going to uh, call this a success in the pie making contest. And again, we're not huge pie makers. Uh, watching some of the other videos, we've seen some delicious pies as part of the collaboration uh, from, again, uh, Miss Tammy, Miss Lori, uh, Granny B, Dan, uh, all the folks who have been making the pies now in the holiday season. So just a late entry from us. Again, I couldn't hide behind the woodshed any longer. So we got our pie in. SK2 over there playing roadblocks. Roadblocks. I uh, just don't. Uh, why did I get crossed by a wall? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> So we're going to close. Uh, Mrs. SG is out with Maggie. Uh, SK1's up taking a shower. It's a school day as we record this. So we're going to get ready. I'm going to get ready for my old 300 wake up and my commute. So take care, everybody. God bless our great country, America. God bless you wherever you may reside around the world. God bless your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals. And God bless your family playing roadblocks. <sighs> Take care. Sapper out. <laughs> <laughs>